Welcome to Puppy Training 101, where I take you on my journey of training Emma, an eight-week-old golden retriever from a little fluff ball with shark teeth to a well-mannered adult dog like Ellie. Now, before we get started, be sure to subscribe so you can stay updated on future courses. <laughs> Welcome to week three, where Emma is now 11 weeks old, growing both mentally and physically, and as smart as a whip. This week we'll dive in and talk about some new puppy skills, socialization, potty training, crate training, and integration with Ellie. Emma made a ton of progress this week, so we'll give you a quick demonstration and then show you behind the scenes on how we taught some things. Emma, sit. Good girl. Uh-uh, yes! Good girl. Look at this paper towel. Oh, this is nice. You want that paper towel? Can I see it? Good girl, thank you. Oh, you want this paper towel again? Oh, that's so nice, can I see it? Oh, thank you. Good girl, good job. Good girl. Emma, watch me. Yes, down, good girl. Sit, sit, yes. High five, yes. Spin, good girl, down. Sit, stay, yes, good girl, freedom. One of the biggest improvements with Emma is learning down just verbally, yes, good girl. Also we added in spin, we took a treat, lured her around, spin, good girl, eventually removing the treat, spin, yes, good girl, good job, sit. We worked a lot on our stay, so we keep these sessions very short for only four to five seconds and only one to two feet backwards. So you say stay in a low tone with an open palm. Emma, sit. Stay. Go back really briefly. Mark. Yes. Give a reward and then release. Freedom. You want the exciting part to be staying, not being released. So that's why she gets the mark and the reward before the release word. Emma, sit. High five. Good girl. Down. Spin. Yes. Good job. Then working on the trade game. This is an important thing for resource guarding. So I have a paper towel here. Dogs often like to steal paper towels. And if you just go and grab something from your dog, they'll often learn, oh, I don't want to give that to my owner. They'll run away with it. They'll take what's fun. So the way you do this is take something that's still safe for your dog, but you want them to learn not to have, and give it to them. Let them chew on it. Good girl, that's really good. Yes, good job. You take it from them in a trade, but then you give it back to them. So they learn that, wait, not only am I getting treats, oh, look at that, that's so good, but I'm also getting whatever I had back. So you do this several times, short sessions, so your dog learns that you're more fun and it's better to listen to you as opposed to taking anything. Good girl, good job. Oh, can I see that? Thank you, that was very nice. And then lastly, we worked on uh-uh. So we take an object that Emma's not supposed to be by or something that she's not supposed to jump on and as she goes for it, I'll say uh-uh in a very firm voice. If she stops going for it, immediately give her a treat. If not, I'll lure her away with the treat so she learns that uh-uh means whatever I'm doing, I should stop and I'll get better rewards from my owner. Well, this looks nice, look. Look at this, do you want this? So she knows I have treats, is not even going for it. Good girl. Look at these strings. Oh, those are fun. <laughs> You're so good. Could you sit, please? Thank you. Good girl. Yes. Good job. Down. Good girl. One thing that's awesome about Emma, too, is her eye contact. We reward that, uh-uh. Yes. Good girl. We reward our eye contact often, which helps a lot with all these training sessions. Potty training, happy to report that we had zero accidents this week. Yay! Because of that, Emma got a lot more freedom outside of her crate and got to play and integrate with Ellie even more than she had in the past. For crate training, we started integrating the crate inside the car, as well as Emma learning how to sit in the back seat with a supervised person in the back, and then introducing Ellie as well. 
Socialization was very busy this week. Emma went to Puppy Kindergarten, Puppy Party. Ellie and Emma went to the National Mall and we saw all sorts of new sights and sounds and smells in a safe environment. Emma stayed in my lap the whole time because she doesn't have all of her vaccinations yet, but we also saw helicopters and planes. Then we had a maintenance person come over to our apartment and it was incredible to see these two. They both just laid down and relaxed the entire time the maintenance person was here. And we had a friend come over and work on training with both of the girls so that they get used to other people. Integration this week has been incredible to see these two. Ellie will often initiate play. She's being at the same level, if not being submissive at times to Emma as she is right now. And they've just been spending a ton of time playing with each other. It's just great to see these two growing.